Colts got to do some signings here, so let's let's uh, run through it. Let's do it. <laughs> All right. Andrew Kazoo with the Holly Podcast. Just wondering if you have any interest in the future of doing like uh, managing or maybe uh... snapping. No, no, sorry, <laughs> sir. but like managing or any um, agent agent work in AEW oh. or maybe another company in the future. Yeah, right? you know, right now, I, uh, obviously, I've been wrestling over twenty years now. So is, this is just audio or is this yes. video? Oh, boy. Okay. <laughs> I've been wrestling over 20 years now. And so um, I really, there's something I really like about, um, you know, yesterday we had a match at MCW and I really enjoy, I really enjoy breaking down the psychology and break, I really like wrestling a match and then breaking it down, especially for the younger guys who maybe not understand it. So yesterday we had this big six man and it was so much fun to like do the match, get the reactions and get, go back and say, this is what worked. This is why it didn't work. This is what we need to work on. And so if that, if you're doing that while you know helping some younger talent or even while in the matches, it is something I really like. Um, I just have a weird brain for that kind of stuff, so it's something I, re I really enjoy is the the aspect of the puzzle of putting a match together and in turn putting a show together too. So um, always open to do that stuff. You know, I do a lot of it. You know, with my own stuff at Ring of Honor and just all the independence and you know the touring I do. So it's always yeah. I mean, I, if you if you haven't understand now. Like the, all the different aspects that I do of wrestling, with podcasts and YouTube and, and documentaries and comedy and wrestling and commentary. Obviously, I'm someone who's going to be around for a long time, and uh, I like doing all aspects of it. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for the question. Now that we're five episodes into NWA Power, what are your thoughts so far? I mean, it's been great response. Yeah, and uh, it's been NWA Power has been a crazy response, and we just did the two tapings. And a lot of us, when we were doing, the, I think going into the tapings, we were like, this will be another weird thing that we just do. And while t while doing the tapings for NWA Power, we all like felt like, hey, this is going really well. And this is really, uh, seems to be something. And the aura of the studio and the people really coming along with us on the ride, uh, you know, they were really into the matches, everybody from start to end, they were four hour days. We could tell it was something fun, so it was, it's so cool to see that translate to everybody online. And um, yeah, you know, I, I'll do some TV stuff, and you know, I, I won't hear anything. And then I did the one week of NWA Power, and my timeline is just blown up. So that, I think that's when you know something's really catching on. So it's really cool. Yeah. Yep. Uh, you'll be heading off to Japan soon for World Tag League. Correct. How excited are you to team with Yano? Uh, well, I'm super excited to be tagged with Yano for New Japan. I think um, I think I'm more excited. For that the fans are gonna get that because I, when we when we uh, tagged at um, Honor Rising in Japan for Ring of Honor in Japan at Korokin, uh, there was something something so special. And then when we wrestled each other at the New Japan Cup, the feedback and I, I thought every, like I felt it in the ring. I, I, I hope Yano did too. That there was a real connection between two wrestlers there, and I don't think they would have put us in the tag league, but I suggested it to a couple higher powers in New Japan and then it was suggested to obviously Gato and, and when it went to Gato like he was like oh that's a great idea and a little bit of me was like sad like I mean I don't know because I wasn't there but a little bit was sad like oh like I wish he would have been like oh of course we're gonna do that but it was brought to him it was presented to him and he was like yeah of course um, and so that's kind of how, to, how it came about um, and so I, I'm so excited I, I think um, to get my creativity going is something I really enjoy doing, so I know putting these matches together and tagging with Yano and all the comedy bits and even the non-comedy bits, and um, I, I'm hoping it's every match is a must-see match. You know, it's a three-week tour; it's gonna be a long tour, and I just hope it's we do different weird stuff every night. And, you know, my when I was maybe five years in the business, like I had this weird like, oh, maybe someone will take me to Japan and I'll become this weird star, like this American star. You know, you just that's how you think. Um, and I, I ended up I ended up going and wrestling for Noah for four or five years, but you never I never became this larger than life star in Japan. You were just a part of the crew. And then I wrestled for DDT and it was pretty good. And now um, I, I think this might twenty years, twenty one years into wrestling, this might be an opportunity where it becomes this cult thing of myself and Yano. And uh, I think it already started, so I'm excited to see where it goes and, and hopefully goes further in the future. You said something about uh, your creativity. How's the uh, general uh, general feedback in on the uh, unauthorized show? I thought it was great. The ROH unauthorized show. Yeah. Uh, it, was early. it was a lot of fun from start to finish. It was great. I've gotten a lot of it's a lot of uh, fun, and I yeah. thought it was fun. 
But I did get some weird messages of like, what is this crap? Oh, really? You know, and, oh, and there is, there's always going to be negativity. Yeah. So I was a little, afterwards I thought it was so fun, but there is a little of like, oh man, like you don't want to let anybody down. And, and I do understand the idea of, you know what Ring of Honor is, yeah. and it's been sold that way for so long. And then you all of a sudden you give them this different product of this weird show. And I think it was, I think people who came to Ring of Honor for the first time and were sold on it, like, hey, it's like straight, great, and amazing wrestling, and then Ian Riccoboni's coming off the top rope with an elbow. Right. You might be like, is this? But um, I thought the idea of Ring of Honor in a whole, and then you have this one offshoot that you know I'm posting, so you know it's going to be weird. Right. I had a great time. Everyone in the back, when I came to the back after that match, uh, Gilbert just flashed me. <laughs> when I came to the back after that uh, that 10 man tag where Sinclair did a leapfrog, and oh, I will. there was a sellout on the monitor, the place went, there was a standing ovation. And those are the moments you like as a wrestler when when, when the other wrestlers appreciate. They call it being a wrestler's wrestler. When, when you have the attention of the other wrestlers and they love what's going on, then you know something's going right. So I, I think that was what I needed. Even though there was some negativity on Twitter and stuff, but. The, the, the re, uh, affirmation of my colleagues, I think, was cool. Cool. Well, you, uh, with the NWA power and everything like that, how has it been, like, for the past couple of weeks, you've kind of taken a little bit more of a serious role onto it. Yeah. How has that been, like, just being in the studio environment of that, as well as just, like, having using your serious aspect of side of things? Yeah, you know, people, I, I don't know if it's not enough credit, but... Um, I can wrestle anyway, like, you know, like, <laughs> you want me to be serious, I'll be serious. You want me to, I, but if you leave it up to me, I will be the, the goofball that I am. That's the wrestling I prefer. But Billy Corrigan has a vision, and that's his vision. I respect it, and I'm in that role, and I'm going to do that role for him. And I'm going to enjoy it, because I love wrestling. And so I have no problem doing that, and I... And I I enjoy it to an aspect. Of, like, if it's up to me, I'm doing Yano all day, you know? But um, I do like the other aspects. And I do like building stories. You know, years ago, a lot of people remember, uh, remember me for a feud I had with Homicide, where it started very silly, and then it ended up in this crazy match uh, with the Drano, and then this crazy barbed wire match. And that was a beautiful story, and I love telling that story. So I love getting into that long form and long term storytelling. Um, but the way I've kind of padded out my career the last 10 years, I'm such a journeyman and I'm so all over the place is I don't really have that opportunity to tell those long stories. So uh, with NWA, I, you know, they have it really down. They want to tell these stories and I'm, I'm definitely along for the ride and I look forward to maybe doing something super, super, super serious where you didn't really expect it and you haven't seen it in, in a long time. Let's do two more guys. With all these different avenues that you're at, NWA, Ring of Honor, all this stuff, are we still going to see you around the Indies? Because I remember getting the interview back home to Taylor when you wrestled uh, superstar Bill Martell for BCW. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I, I think that's what people know me as. So like, um, and I pride myself on it. And I've had all these different contract opportunities, and a lot of times I turn it down just because I know I won't be able to do the weird shows. Uh, as much as I love doing TV and all and the high profile stuff, I love the gathering of the juggalos. I love, you know, I just love doing weird shows in Mexico and Canada and these Canada tours. Uh, to me, that's just as fun as doing the higher profile stuff. To me, that's wrestling. So I'm always very careful of making sure I don't put myself in a box or a corner that I don't want to be in because I, I want to do the other stuff. I love being on the road. I love doing the weird stuff. I love independent wrestling. It's so weird. I love it. It's, so cool, man. Good to hear. Yeah. Colt, any thoughts, on, yeah. any thoughts on the reemergence of the legend Soul Trade Jones? <laughs> uh, I, had, so I had a laugh just like you did, I hopefully. And um, that's what I love about All Elite Wrestling. That's what I love about the Bucks since day one, is they don't take themselves so seriously. They know, they get the joke, and they're presenting that kind of humor on TNT. And again, you know, uh, an unwise man once told me funny don't equal money. And I was out to prove him wrong, and um, you know maybe I didn't get to prove him wrong by uh, getting a show on TNT, you know, weekly. But um, the, the young bucks too, who also dislike this funny equals money man, um, they've also uh, figured out how to do it, and obviously it's working. And I think it's so cool. So uh, I'm all about Soul Train Jones. Uh, I'm all about those breadsticks and, and the meat sauce. And so uh, we're happy to see him get another run. Glad to see he was on national television in sweatpants. Killing it. Killing it. <laughs> Thank you guys. Thanks, Colt. Thanks, Thanks guys. guys.